Hey, it's midweek again here at our 3-in-1. We're glad you're joining us on our YouTube cha channel and hope that maybe we've answered a question for you that you've given to God. Tonight we have another question of God. And that is our question to God is, and this is another biggie, it goes back with one we did t almost two weeks ago, why Jesus is special. Why did Jesus have to die? You know, I'll tell you, as a pastor, that is one of the, the, the teaching the Easter story. We just finished our, our, our VBS and we taught some of this. And I say it's the hardest part to teach young kids, especially in our society. Well, Colossians says it this way in chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. You were dead because of your sins. And because your sinful na your nature was not yet cut away, then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all of our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. Folks, we don't have to like it. We don't have to fully understand it. But Christians has always proclaimed that Jesus' death, his resurrection was done for us as salvation. Salvation from our sins. Now, we have disagreed on that. In fact, there are four various aspects of this understanding of what Jesus' life, death, and resurrection saving us means. They are called atonement theory theories. And the four most prominent ones are recapitulation, they're sometimes called ontological, Christus Vic, the, uh, the uh, victor, Christ the king, the, the, the uh, victor, penal substitutionary, and moral atonement theories. Now we could go into those and try to describe them, and we probably should, but not tonight. I just need you to know that not everybody agrees that any one of those is fully the answer of why Christ died, except for the fact that out of all four of them, Christ does die. And by his death, we are saved through his resurrection and the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus had to give there had to be one sacrifice that God himself actually created. No human did it. Jesus was fully man and fully God. But because he was fully God, it was God who provided the opportunity for us to be saved from, from our sins. One of the things we talked about with the kids at VBS this week, I said, imagine as a young kid, you're told to go to timeout. And you're going to be a timeout for a half an hour. And your best friend steps up and tells the teacher, no, that's okay. I'm going to go to timeout for him because he wants to go to recess with the other friends. Now, that's a very lighthearted, small, simplistic way. But Jesus has placed himself in that position for us. Through his death, his resurrection, remember, Jesus didn't remain dead. God never died. The human died, and then he raised from, from uh, the dead for us, so we could be forgiven of our sins. Which model of the uh, understanding of, of atonement that you want to argue? We can argue them all. The fact is, there had to be atonement for our sins, and it only comes through a perfect atonement, and his name was Jesus. That is the answer to our question for tonight. Jesus had to die, so we were atoned. See you next week for another question.